What's going on guys? Corey here with uh, the cracky known as Brandon. It's uh, another top 10. As I promised, we're going to start doing these weekly again for this year. Before we get into anything before, this will be number one every week because the most requested item in the store, I'm sure you're well aware oh, of God, yeah. is uh, One Piece Romance Dawn booster boxes and packs. It's like, I, it's like I'm, I don't even know how I'm even touching this thing. It's like so hot. So we get calls like 20, 30 times a day for this. So these are scorching. Hot. Yeah, people want more than one piece. Yes, they do. They want all the pieces. And more. Because once they get all the pieces, they still ask for more. So, if you wonder what's hot in the store, one piece. The franchise is not new, but this is a new... Uh... Forget Spider-Man, yeah. forget Batman, Monkey D. Luffy. Yeah, Luffy, there you go. Okay, so this is for January 18th week of 2023. So, number 10 is Invincible Iron Man, number 2. I like weeks like this because it was not really uh, any major books coming out, so a lot of the smaller titles made the top 10, which... Which is fun. So, why is he fighting Ironheart? I don't know. Because that's. It, I'm sure they didn't. They probably got an argument, and it's somebody else in the suit or something. I don't know. But there's uh, definitely fisticuffs there. So you're gonna have to read it and find out. Uh, number nine. Uh, again, homage stuff. Homages sell, especially if they're cool covers like this. Avengers uh, Forever number thirteen. It's an homage to Avengers fifty-seven, which is the first Silver Age appearance of the Vision. I see a lot of uh, homages in this cover. Yeah, and yeah, this has been done many times. It's yeah. awesome. It's actually a Golden Age cover. Um, too so really really cool you know vision is awesome especially uh I do this i don't know why i'm doing that but there you go number eight yeah, we haven't uh, we haven't got three technology yet yeah i know so, three uh, i know uh, number eight is uh alien number five uh this is not the main cover i do like this cover it's a beautiful cover it's simple but it's cool it's the second series from marvel uh they got the license back uh, which is cool they have alien and predator they both sell really well which is nice back when i was a youngster Dark Horse had the Alien and Predator license, and there was tons of books coming out. So it's cool. You I know, like you know, it. You know what we need, Cora? We need the, an adaptation of Predator 2. Predator 2 is a big no thank you. But uh, there you go. So that is Alien number five, is book eight. Number seven uh, is uh, this book sells really well. Mark Wade is doing a really good job with this. Um, so it's, uh, Batman Superman World's Finest, exactly. book 11. These are the connecting covers by. John Boy Myers, who, uh, if you know Craig who works here, Craigie, he loves himself some John Boy. John Boy's done some ridiculously cool Venom covers before. He does a lot of cool stuff, but this is really very, nice. Very, so. very, uh, Scott, J. Scott Campbell-ish? Yeah, clean, clean lines, really nice. I love it. So, yeah. uh, John Boy does a lot of covers, so nice job on that. Number five is Hulk, number 11, minus Donny Cates. Nope, I skipped one. I'm Oop, sorry. That is, no, no, that's a lie. I skipped it. There you go. My bad. Is uh, Amazing Spider-Man book 14, the second printing, which reprints the first Hallow's Eve appearance, which is pretty cool. Uh, they're pushing out these new characters like crazy. This one hasn't really caught on yet, but she is cool looking, so we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So that is uh, book number six. No surprises here. Book here's, eight. Here's Hulk. It's Hulk number 11, minus Johnny Cates. Ryan, um, what's it? Uh, Otley, right? Yeah. Otley actually wrote and drew this, so it's really, really nice. I love Otley's art because of... Uh, Has he written much before? No. Uh, Invincible. And all you need to know about Ryan Otley is Invincible, which is one of my favorite things on this planet in the comic book world. So there you go. That's Hulk number 11. It is book 5. So number 4 is Venom number 15. Can't go out and listen to Venom. Again, an homage cover to Spider-Man number 365, which was a foil variant back in the day. And uh, this is awesome. Is this, was this amazing? Who is this? Uh, I don't know this. Oh, no, it's uh, John Tyler Christopher, who does all those uh, cool action figure covers for Star Wars and Marvel. And all that stuff like that. So all the action figure covers you've seen for the past like eight years that they started with uh, the Marvel books, I mean the Star Wars books, mm. uh, was uh, John Tyler Christopher. So, and that is uh, this is one of those books. Again, oh, here comes a good cover. Okay, uh, this is Immortal X Men number ten. I love me some Mark Brooks. Yeah, Mark Brooks is ridiculously amazing. I love Brooks. One of the coolest signatures in comics. Beautiful art. Um, this book sells extremely well. Darren Gillen writing it so. You can't Who has a cooler signature, him or Stegman? Stegman's neat because it's a little little Sega source. Uh, but I just like the look of this. But Stegman probably wins because it's like drawn. But this is a really cool symbol. So uh, you can't go out wrong with that. So that is uh, Mortal Kombat number 10. Number 2 is Nightwing number 100. This is the lenticular, not lenticular, acetate. acetate cover. Lenticular is when they're like 3D. Acetate cover. So it's not the main cover. There was like 83 covers for this. So if you open it up, you see that. So. That's really, really neat. So Nightwing hit 100. And apparently the Teen Titans are now pretty much the Justice League as far as the DC Universe is concerned. And Nightwing is like the head of it. So 
I guess Dark Crisis started it out, and you got this now. So they're really pushing Nightwing to be a uh, big, big, big character in DC. So we'll see what happens. I, it bothers me there's no Justice League book on the shelf, but what are you going to do? I don't make them. I just try to sell them. Okay, number one, a pretty easy guess, is Batman One Bad Day, the Bane book. Of course, uh, next week Catwoman comes out. These sell really, really well. You had Riddler, you had Penguin, you had Iceman, and uh, now you got uh, Bane. So uh, he's angry. He's full of, he's full of some venom. I would, uh, it's too early, or I'd try to make a Bane voice joke, but, uh, we don't or he would fire me on the spot. No, so. I would just, I would just vomit. But there you go, so this is, there's a, bu there's a bunch of covers for this, but these are nice. They're square bound, uh, which, uh, if you come from the old country like myself, uh, they're a prestige format size. So, it's pretty neat, you know, there you go. Batman, one bad day. You know what's funny? One bad day. When you're working with Cracky, every day's a bad day. So it's many this, a bad day. Th this guy. So... There you go. Is uh, that's it. You top all 10. love me. Uh, somebody has to. Uh, this top ten. You know, and uh, that's it. Nothing else to do. I'm sorry. No, we're we're gonna turn this off and sell Pokemon cards. Yeah. So. Today, uh, Pokemon weekend. The next weekend is Pokemon Day. So you know, everybody loves Pokemon. You gotta catch them all. That's what they keep telling me. So I don't know. That's about it. So. I've caught them all, and they keep making more. So yeah. they they make it really hard. And he's the so. magic man. So yeah. what are you gonna do? So for the Krakenator, it's Corey, and uh, we'll see you guys at the shop. Bye, everybody.